And we are kind of back. I mean, so I know the word of the year is consistency. And believe me when I tell you folks, we've tried. We've tried. (laughs) This week, these last two weeks have been so hard. First off. Our system is completely jacked up. It's Dale. Dale goes Frazier. <laughs> Man, we're co- we're recording through means that we vowed to never use. We literally had to MacGyver our setups. <laughs> I I don't know if it's like a Y two K situation where 2019 came along and it just completely ruined my setup. It just man. Bro. I don't know if somebody dropped the EMP on my on my get down, but it. It it's awkward and it's frustrating and it's killing me because I want to give you guys the best quality. Like of course. And and this episode's not going to have video because there's just there's just no way we can <laughs> at this point right now. We don't know what the problem is. I'm sitting here fidgeting. I don't know what to do. I I hate being in this position where we know the problem but we can't fix the problem. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. You know, like I, it, it feels so strange being this locked out of uh, something so basic. Bro, my head hurts. Yeah, like but, on. Go ahead. But 2019 consistency, 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 consistency. consistency. Exactly. We're there. We're making this happen. Like I'm, and then I got my. I'm so consistent. I'm trying to be so consistent, guys. I have my daughter in my lap. Like, she's sitting right here. She's actually mellowed out, and she's, like, rubbing her ears trying to go to sleep. But she's probably going to do the whole cry thing in a second. Mm -hmm. I hope she doesn't. Baby girl, Maya, please don't. I know. (laughs) I'm, like, begging. Like, don't you believe it. (laughs) I swear that was the best episode of Time with Jerry. (laughs) Uh, Bro, I'm telling you. But hey, what what's so funny is I, I got to be careful because I'm trying not to laugh too hard because yeah. that'll ruin this whole experience. Oh yeah, this whole mo- the whole moment's over. Yeah, it, <laughs> it'll be it'll be done. It'll be it'll be so gone. But we are here. We are yes. back. Yes, we are. And um, we're I like I want to stay consistent. Consistency, yeah. consistency. Right now it's nine thirty at night, and we about to make this happen, bro. Oh yeah. Ooh, let me tell you, bro. So I ran into my very first hardcore, like, I hate you post, I mean, Uh comment on Uh YouTube. Uh Um, (laughs) Uh-oh. Now, I'm going to tell you, just straight up, and we normally don't talk about um, too extremely political or social topics because Mm -hmm. it's not why we're here. Yeah, exactly. But this kind of spilled over because it, it deals with my... Baron J six seven brand, and <laughs> I I watched the trailer reaction. I watched I did a trailer reaction video for the new Killer Mike series on Netflix mm. called Trigger. It's called Trigger Warning. Okay, like it's in the title. Yeah, they like... they like <laughs> you. It clearly tells you, hey, forewarning. It's gonna make you itch, and it's gonna make you probably want to cut somebody out. Yeah, and it's probably gonna make you want to fight. Exactly. Like this ain't like it immediately makes it, it tells you up front mm-hmm. so of course i do the trailer reaction video and a guy comes out and calls me a racist a racist call, yeah oh yeah he called me a racist and i can't believe uh he was disappointed in me for sharing racist views what yeah and i'm like i'm a native american black dude <laughs> i i um like how how did we come to be, bro? Yeah, and I'm like, I I mean, I don't hate anybody. Yeah. But long story short, I probably have the longest comment. I have the longest comments in uh, YouTube history. <laughs> if you go three on my pages, video, you got like a oh, the comment looks like something off of Facebook. Really. But it's on YouTube. I want to go. I want to go look at it. Yeah, and I'm not gonna read it because that's not what we're here for. Of course. What, what we are here for is my snoring daughter, and <laughs> what games we've been recently playing. Mm-hmm. So, what have you been well, playing I'm, lately? Well, I kind of want to. Well, not like too much into it, but how does it feel? How did it feel to have like your first 
like you knew you were getting a dislike. Like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> you knew, like after reading that, he was the one that disliked. The one dislike. <laughs> the one dislike you got. You knew that was him, right? Like, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I seriously felt good. Ah. Moments like that, like even when I first got my my very first dislike, mm-hmm. or um, in this, and then this is a new tier. When you get to the point where people are taking the time to tell you how much they hate what you did, Ooh. I feel like I'm reaching a lot of people. You, you you've made it. I feel like I've made it. Like it's, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a beautiful feeling. Yeah, I, like, I, I, t- I just tell people all the time, like hey, it's, it's even something that I, I try to like teach. Like my my kids is like you gotta have duck feathers, you know. And then with with this specific thing with content creating, a lot of people, you know, some people aren't gonna same share the same views as you, and some people are gonna be extreme to the left of your situation of how you may say something or what you may view something or how you may view something. So it's kind of like, hey, bro, you know, your the comment section is here for you to write whatever you want to write. Have at it, you know what I'm yep. saying. So I, I would never close my comments. I don't think I would ever turn them off. They're there for that reason. Let people yep. talk. Let people do their express themselves. Even if it's the worst of the worst, it's there for that specific reason. So I kind of just man, I man, I, I'll read them and then I'll just skirt on by. Or like when the one thing I hate was when people try to like you create something and people try to tell you that what you created shouldn't have been created the way you created it like what do you mean i created it (laughs) it's what i created (laughs) and then what made it even funnier is it's literally titled a trailer reaction yeah like so for one i have not watched the show Mm -hmm. because the show wasn't even out when i did the trailer exactly i still i still to this day haven't watched the show yeah and um surprisingly Cause you know me, man. I like to tone things down and bring it, bring it level. Yeah. Because shouting in all caps doesn't do anything for that me. It don't do nothing for me. It, it it don't do nothing for me. I don't I don't get off on that. I actually enjoy solid conversation, but I had to reframe the guy's tone, and I told him I was like, "Hey, or said person, who knows who it is? Uh, it could be an alien for all I know." Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. I made it clear. I was like, let's take a step back. Remember, this is a trailer reaction video. And then also, where do you stand on these topics? Because he was talking about it's nonsense and the things he's bringing up aren't real issues. And I'm like, well, he he's addressing addressing economy. He's addressing uh, the church. Mm-hmm. He's addressing uh, the government as a whole, but all from the perspective of African Americans or black people. Yeah. So is is him focusing on one group racist? Mm. No. No. Is him focus you know what I mean? Yeah. And I and I'm like, well, if nobody gets mad at Susie G. Coleman because she's worried about breast cancer. Yeah. Her nobody nobody's going around getting mad at the color pink. Like no, yeah. I just, I just feel like it's, it's, it's your content, especially in the realm of what, what we're at, where we're at in today. Yeah. Is, it's my content. Like, yes, you're, you're heavily, you're heavily, uh, sought after in your in comments. People are expecting people to comment. I feel like the only people who don't want to read comments and people who like, people who receive negative stuff on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I just think. It's your page. It's your, you know, you did. You it clearly was a trailer reaction. <laughs> I, I yeah. just find that very, uh, very disturbing. But that, the, but in the same breath, the comment section is there for him to say whatever he yep. wants to say. So, but I, I mean, I, like I, I just was looking at the whole. Hey, yeah, you got you got to dis- dislike. You know where it came from. He's right mm-hmm. there, like <laughs> making it very clear. Like, hey, exactly. So I mean, especially with you know with YouTube. You got. The, he gave you the view, and, and this is something we've stressed on here about like views and watching things. Hey, man, if you don't care for it, don't watch it. That part. Don't watch it, bro. And um, 
But I think he was more shocked at the fact that I took the time to really respond. Because at first I gave him a real general answer. Like, oh, I'm sorry this video made you feel that way. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> the video is what it is. Yeah. And uh, he was like, oh, that's a generic answer. And I was <laughs> what, like, what oh, you so, okay. you, so, so I gave him what he wanted. I was like, well... You're complaining about something that neither one of at this point I have not watched. Yeah, you ain't even seen it. Like yeah, you, you sure is mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm like, it, I'm speaking purely from what we've all seen here in this video because clearly I made the video. Yeah. So based on the video, yeah, and I said it just like this: it's it's it was radical. It was um, it was pointed towards one group of people. And the benefit of one group of people, but not at the um, but not at the um, cost of other groups of people. Mm-hmm. That it was as simple as that, yeah. you know. I, and but yeah. besides that point, what games you been playing? Um, I've been. I, I actually started downloading the Resident Evil demo, and uh, Ooh. yeah, boy, PlayStation crashed. Oh, sent the report over to Sony, so. I don't. I think it was because my hard drive was full. I want to say that was the reason. I had to go through and delete some stuff off my hard drive, but uh, we should be good. We should be good tonight. I think after this, I'm going to uh, start the re-downloading process and get it on there. So, I, cause I want to play it, and then you know, it being only 30 minutes of gameplay is kind of like, and then how I felt about them. You know, creating the Resident Evil Two. Yeah, this will be a again. solid way. This will be a way for us to determine whether or not we're gonna go half on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, and then I already seen people st- talking about Game of the Year. Oh and God! I'm like, bro, this is a demo, bro. <laughs> Thirty minute demo that you can't even really break down. That people hey. have to find glitch like hacks to, you know, to play it unlimitedly on their account. So. Bro, really chill, bro. Hey, no lie, dude. I'm actually quite terrified of horror games. Mm-hmm. And a part of me wants to do a whole series of streaming this. Bro. But it's going to be bad because I know I am absolutely terrified. Bro. Like, no you, question. No, you need to play... Well, I mean, Resident Evil after a certain point doesn't become scary. Once you once you become big boss and you get all of the guns in, and you got you got ammo for days, it doesn't become scary anymore. Like it just becomes, oh yeah, I got something for you. Let me switch to the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you're like Stewie. You're just, oh, 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 let me go in the diaper and pull out what I need, and mm-hmm. we can get it popping. So time to issue that hurt. Exactly. But uh, you know what game I've been wanting to. I want to. I want to stream it with my wife. Uh, is Outlast the horror Ooh. game where you're in like the <laughs> you're in like the the psych ward at night and nope. literally you have a flashlight and batteries. <laughs> nope. Nope. You sh- if you want to play some horror game, play that game. That game starts off creepy and crazy no. at the same time. <laughs> I refuse because hey. see, this is the thing. My home is my castle. <laughs> And I wish you guys, I wish the cameras were working so people could see how dark it is in here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, my house is old, so it makes a lot of noise. You know, I, I turned it into a game with my kids and my wife. I'm like, listen, everybody's scared to pay rent. So if there's a ghost or a monster <laughs> here, just let them know <laughs> that before he gets to scare people and do all that extra stuff, he got to pay rent. <laughs> So, oh so I told God. I told my daughter that right, and she was like, uh, she was like, yeah, th- there's a monster in the closet. I'm gonna go tell him that he got to pay rent. <laughs> hey, why, bro. Hey, why listen. is that like the most Islander thing I've ever heard got, about? Life? Gotta pay rent before you do anything extra here. Pay rent and put something on the groceries. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what's so funny about that? We have the uh, we have a, a little like hatch thing into our attic Mm -hmm. and uh my brother came over he's like man what if you hit the hall and you see some legs up there and i was like you know i would actually be very frustrated because somebody (laughs) been up in my house living rent free like it like there's a level see 
That's the one, silver lining. <laughs> one thing I love, and I'm happy you brought it up. One thing I love about horror movies is that point when the the main character gets that fuck it, yeah. that fuck it mode. When they like that moment, like when Buster Rhymes drop kicked Michael Myers. <laughs> Michael Myers beat his ass. Like when you get to that point, like I'm tired of this shit. I'm not fucking with you no more. Catch these hands. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I'm going out to Blaze Glory. I love those moments. Like, have you seen that movie As Above, As Below? Or is, I think it's called As Above, As Below. No, I have not. Basically, there's a long story short, there's a scene where this lady has to run all the way back past all the shit she got away from mm-hmm. to get back to something. She turns into Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> And it's from a, it's from a handy cam perspective. Oh, okay. So all you see is her running and like shoulder charging deep. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, I was in the theater. I bullshit you not. I was in the theater cheering. <laughs> yeah, I'm that, you know, I'm that guy in the movie theater. Listen, I apologize. I'm, it's funny. You see how you bring that up. I just instantly think that. Like just prepare yourself for that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to go the distance with like a Michael Myers or some. Oh yeah, we going. I, it's going. I, yo, you way. go. You gonna have to catch these hands. I just taught my daughter that about catching these hands. We gonna, we gonna, something gonna happen. Like I'm, I'm prepared for a situation. Remember how we, a couple, a few episodes ago, we were talking about um, uh, the the serious like um. Incidents at work and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. I'm I'm prepared. Michael Myers show up, a, a tiger show up, <laughs> zombies. <laughs> bro, I'm ready. I am ready. It didn't. It didn't like where I work too. Like you have to be prepared at night and stuff. They be talking about like coyotes. Like bro, if if something if a coyote a mountain lion, bro, I'm I'm snapping next. We we gonna fight and then I'm gonna eat you like. <laughs> Hey, you know what's so bad? I thought I was really weird. Uh-huh. Like, I'll randomly be walking down the street and be like, man, if a dog came at me, I'm reaching down his throat and snatching his <laughs> tongue out. Like, I'm going to be bit up and scratched up, but the dog going to be gone. I'm, see, I'm prepared to be chewed up. I'm prepared to get Yeah, bit, like mentally, I'm but, there. But I'm fucking you up. Like, I'm going to rip yeah. your tail off. I'm, yeah, like it's going bad. Like we're I'm both, ripping your toes off. We're just going to be both laid out. out the, <laughs> we love animals here at Adventures of the we Black We sure Nerds. do, but I will protect me. Sorry, did I bro. did I say this is Adventures of the Black Nerds? I feel like I didn't even introduce the show. No, you know what? We we just jumped right into it. But <laughs> we this is, Hi, guys. Uh, at Marker 20, at Almost Marker 20. Welcome to Adventures of the Black Nerds, where Please. we love animals. We play video games and dodge zombies. Mm-hmm. And... We have no problem throwing hands with Michael Myers. But you know why we... Hey, it's funny. Video games is the reason why we think this way. I know it is for me. Yeah. Imagine I'll, playing Fallout 3 only first-person mode. And you walk in and then out of nowhere you get hit from the back by a damn raider. You turn around. This is the raider with the damn... The raider mask on. He he ain't got no eyes and all that type of stuff. I mean, hey, when, you know I'm, which I'm prepared, dog. Creepy? What's up? I remember... This was back when I was clearly something was wrong with me. I used to play horror games for some reason. <laughs> I was playing Condemned Blood Origins or something okay. like that. Yeah, and no. <laughs> you walk into a, a apartment building and there's mannequins everywhere and they're mm-hmm. all just looking at you. So you already think you're about to get jumped. Yeah. So you walk in the bathroom, wash your face, and then you look up in the mirror and a mannequin's looking at you. And then you turn around and it's somebody there swinging on you. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, bro. And then somehow they worked in a, a killer bear. But that, I was, I was so when when uh, I Am Legend came out, I was hoping they would have created like a a horror game for that. Because Whoa. the reason why them people were scary is they only came out at night and they were fast as hell. <laughs> so. It's the speed, bro. <laughs> It's the speed. Bro, they were like, fast as hell. First off, how do you beat somebody who doesn't get tired? It's cheating. No, I, I'm not running. <laughs> like, you don't have to so catch these hands, bro. Cheating. I'm trying to think. If I had to stand off 
on a against a bunch of fast running zombies at this point without any training and preparation. I could probably get one and a half. I'm getting on my way out. Bro, I'm getting now, somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, like, but then it depends. Like, let's say, let's say I'm by myself, just caught in, out in a bad situation. I could probably get one and a half. Now, if I got my kids behind me and some shit like that, I'm a spiritually empowered, and I'll probably get three. Mm-hmm. But then after that, we all like I'm gone, so I don't know what they're gonna be <laughs> dealing with. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, th- hey, wait, you know what we gotta talk about? <laughs> <laughs> old boy running in um, uh, old boy running in um, uh, um, oh my god. And uh, th- damn it, what was it where he left his wife in the in his house? What? The, zo- <laughs> the the zombies came in and she tried to save the kid, and he uh he ended up leaving his wife and took off running out the window. <laughs> wait, wait, why does that sound so familiar? Oh my god! Oh, that was um twenty eight days later. Twenty eight days. Yeah. No, was it? Which one was it? Twenty eight weeks later. He left. He looked at his wife. And she was like, hell, and he jumped out the window, he was gone. He turned into Hussein Bolt, he was gone. He was on the river with the boat, he jumped then in the he boat. he threw the dude off the boat. <laughs> yeah, that that was some <laughs> shit. Like, I'm not going to front, that's ruthless. <laughs> hey, hey, what about when they made fun of it on the boondocks, though? <laughs> when he, he said, I live, you die. I live, you die. Yeah, granddad. <laughs> he said, "Granddad, help!" Oh, hell no! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, rabbit. I'm not gonna lie. That scene, as you sit, as you bring it up, it's funny. Is it's not funny, but <laughs> but it's hilarious. He literally <laughs> looked. He looked and said, "Fuck this." <laughs> How you and how you leave the lady in the, in the kid though? Hey, but wait though, wait. How he wake up though out of a cold sleep? I live, you die. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, oh, I miss the Boondocks. Oh man, I miss it so much. I bro. miss the Boondocks, man. That show was pure gold. I am the visual, the inspiration that made Lady C- Man, that song was dope. Bro. Oh, man. But, yeah. So, horror movies. Oh, like horror yeah. games. Horror, horror games. games. Um, For me, it, anything with jump scares is a horror game. Yeah, well, you're, you're going to... You're probably going to shit yourself with Resident <laughs> Evil 2, so... <laughs> Don't worry. I'll wear my brown pants. Please do. Oh, Oh, I, I gotta tell you something after this. I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> gotcha. But so, um, Resident Evil Two is coming out. Um, we haven't yes. played it yet. It is being downloaded as we speak. Uh, it's. I still stand on what I said before. I won't go too much into it, but it's. I think a lot. The consensus. I mean, when I say consensus, I mean YouTube, Twitter. Uh, IG, hell, anything IGN that reports it. Um, a lot of people seem to have enjoyed the de- the demo, so I'm 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 kind of excited to see what the demo has, what they, what kind of switch they did to it, and uh-huh. um, you know what the this is the only demo I'm gonna play this year. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not playing any other demos, but this I'm gonna play this demo is be, I'm only reason why I'm playing this demo is, is to to get back. To, to answer the questions I had when we first reviewed that they're remaking Got you. the game. so Because we did go hard on it. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. But other than that, um, you've been playing what this week? Oh, man. I've been playing the living hell out of Call of Duty Black Ops. The duty. The duty. Mm. I for some reason, whenever somebody, whenever any of my anybody on my friends list is on, and we're running Call of Duty, I'm having so much damn fun. Bruh. Like I, I was literally running Call of Duty before we, uh, before we hopped on doing this. Yeah, like I was literally streaming it, and uh, but I'm not going to cancel because we're consistency is key. Consistency. 
um, I think I was even mid match, and I just was like, "Gotta go." I gotta go. Yeah, I did hear you say that. I mean, co- see, I got I got my ass handed to me in, co- in the match of Call of Duty a couple weeks ago, and I just I was so bad. The dude was doing he was doing some outrageous stuff. I just turned this, the the whole system off. Like I just shut it on down. I've I have not been destroyed in a game in a very long time, but these kids, these super kids that they got playing these games nowadays, boy, I tell you. Okay, well let's let's talk about this. What I did not know is that a large majority of the um, Call of Duty community right now, they all run modded controllers. Mm, what do you mean modded controllers? Uh, you mean rapid like, fire. Oh, okay. Uh, Damn, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Now, I of course it makes it easier, and I get it why people would run like an a Xbox Elite or a Scuff or something like that because you got like jump shots. Mm-hmm. It's impossible to do a jump shot with a standard uh, uh that's playing not, playing standard. Hey, that's not hundred percent true. Well, no, because of course, if you run claw, if you run another, no, I got you. But I'm talking about if I'm holding the controller normal, uh-huh. and I'm running against somebody who know what the hell they doing. Yeah, of the course. The time it take for me, to, the to, rate of, you know, yes, to do that based off of a normal controller with without moving your hands to to actually commit that command. Yeah. Yes, you're gonna lose every time. Yeah, but just, the reason but, the reason why I, I, I said that was because it's funny I cannot use a regular controller no more, and that's what I'm and scared. That's because since I've been playing with my scuffs, my I got two scuffs. I love both of them. Nothing's wrong with both of them. Haven't broken them, and uh, it's well worth the investment for me because I it not only is it made gaming better for me. But it's also I'm, I feel comfortable making these commands now. But before that, I used to have to jump shot by pressing X. I couldn't do claw. My hands is too big for claw, and they hurt. So I <laughs> that shit hurt when you when gotcha. you try to use claw. And I tried to do claw for a while, trying to get better at Call of Duty. This is back going back to Modern Warfare Three. Mm. So. Trying to play claw, that shit didn't work out for me. So I started just using the regular X, playing tactical. So I play tactical with my, um, with my, uh, I believe that's my right thumbstick is to crouch. So I use that to crouch now. So um, I was just literally, I would run, and how I would how I would commit the command is, I would run, and then right when I knew I had to, I would. Tap jump and then throw my finger right back on the aim and then shoot mm-hmm. and click and aim and shoot and that's how I always did it. But when I tried doing it, now I took my I took my whole set I took my laptop to work and was uh remote playing. I couldn't do the shit. I was like, bro, I, I don't even want to play. So yeah, you're don't right. You? Even getting the controller literally takes it away from you because I, if I don't have a scuff in my hand, I'm not playing. No, and that's and that's actually a big fear of mine. <laughs> And the only reason I won't commit, because even even now, I mean, I started trying to work with sniper rifles because I never understood how everybody could do it. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm getting 12 and 10. Yeah. Uh, 10 and 8. Mm-hmm. I might even do bad and do 12 and 15. But my point is that if I'm doing that with basics, I could only imagine what I would be doing. If you got a being scuff. Able- and then I found out about the snap to aim and how all of that is based on movement and it's hard as hell to keep moving and shoot. Yeah. On while running a regular controller. It's funny, it's funny the one thing I had to learn especially playing Call of Duty was when uh the auto the aim assist. Mhm, that's and what I meant. Aim, aim the assist. aim assist in, in vi- oh oh okay so that's what you were talking about that's what I was talking the about, aim yeah. assist in certain video games is it's strong as hell when you sit and think about it because a lot of people when they go to shoot they'll aim and then they'll shoot this first target kill it but they will stay wow. aimed in if you watch professionals if you watch people who do it if you're if and obviously it's based off the engagement but if I lock in if I ADS lock onto you, shoot and kill you, and you're say you're probably like three feet away from the next target, and they're in your they're in your 
uh, your line of sight, literally you descope, you descope, and then re ads, and yes. it locks on to you again. Yes. So that was something that you I had to learn too. I had to learn that in in SOCOM. It was a lot of games I had to learn that and, in. And you know what's so crazy? I make the mistake of dragging my um my aim instead of relocking. Yeah, like that's something. So now my KD has dropped so much. Because I'm basically changing my whole play style. Mm -hmm. And I would rather play with the system than against it. Of course. And it's funny. The, the community creates the, the the meta. So the community finds out the best guns. The community uh, the community puts everybody in the... In the uh, shows everybody like, like different routes to run. Stuff like that. Uh -huh. and, and like what attachments and shit to, and, and things that you should run inside of the games, um, I I tend to I tend to pay attention to the community, but I also tend to run the game my way. You know the Got guns you. that I like to use. If I like yeah. using this gun, I'm gonna use it. You know, not based off of because oh yeah the 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 TTK on this gun is point seven faster than this gun. TTK yeah. is time to kill. Yeah, of course, yes, time to kill. Sorry, I'm I'm assuming that everyone knows what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, well, I, I'm I didn't get heavy into Call of Duty and like even like finding out websites that broke down all the maps and the meters. Uh, range drop off all of this stuff is in the game but there's websites that are break all of that stuff down for you and um i got heavy into that around black ops mm. so that's when i started really paying attention really p using try hard classes and stuff like that but as long i, I just feel like as long as you if you're a casual player and you're having a lot of fun playing the game even if you rage at stuff during the game if you enjoy have playing fun. it have fun with it man but I, I would, if anybody's out there thinking about getting a scuff controller, I would recommend that you get one, but you also only use it when you're playing FPS games. There's no use to use a, a scuff if you're not playing F, FPS games. And First person shooter. F, yeah, blah. See? I'm assuming you guys know. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, man. Call of Duty. Uh, I think this is one of the better ones in the past couple of years. It's caught my attention, and you know me, I usually boycott it. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good. The The competitive scene is doing really well as well. Uh, they just had their their PLQ or their, I don't even know the, the dang name for that, but it's their their qualifier for the, the rest of their pro league. Oh, yeah, the pro league qualifier. Okay. So they just had that. So I couldn't good. correct you on that one because yeah, I didn't know what the hell was I, I damn near forgot about it too. But yeah, you play Call of Duty. Me, I haven't been playing too much. I've been trying to get back into editing. Uh, I also, ah. I also have been uh, chopping up some Destiny clips. I was playing Destiny. Uh, I played Destiny a few times this week, uh, but I haven't really been playing anything. I'm gonna tell you what I have been doing though. That's taken up a good portion of my time this week. Is I've been watching season two of The Punisher. Ooh. And boy, do I have to tell you. I, I, I won't ruin it, um, but I will let you guys know that uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's better than the first season. I think it's, they didn't do, other than the story, the storyline, everything is still the same. He's still Frank Castle. He's still kicking ass and he's still killing people okay. <laughs> violently. Hey, um, hey, you. Like, I don't know what happened, but maybe it was the cancellation of all the shows. Mm -hmm. But once I found out they all got canceled, my urge to watch them fell away so hard. The only reason why I sat down and watched them is because I, I literally had nothing to do. <sighs> I had like, nothing to. I literally had when I look when I say I had nothing to do I wasn't doing nothing and the only thing I could do I was bored of YouTube I watched all the YouTube videos I had saved for my watch later um there was nothing on Twitch that I was look I was uh, looking forward to watching and I literally was like ah oh, you know what my my daughter was watching Netflix earlier and I still had it on my tablet so I was like oh you know what? let me see what's on Netflix and then I seen the Punisher was on there because you and then also you did a review for a movie that I can't wait to see, um, Polar. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you, that movie looks amazing. It looks like 
Kill John Bill meets John Wicks. <laughs> I called him John Wicks' daddy. He could be. <laughs> he looked like Snake Plissken. But, uh, <laughs> but Russian. <laughs> I can't wait to see that movie. Um, I think Netflix is about to kill it, man. They're hey, about to kill it. I'm watching, like right now, I'm trying to, and I, it's funny you bring it up because I'm going to finish it tonight. Uh, I started watching the movie I.O., which is about um, the end of Earth or the end of humanity on Earth and them leaving to go to the moon Io, which is a moon of Jupiter. Mm-hmm. Um, and that movie actually is it's different. It's not as it's not an action movie. Yeah, it's more of a just a good story. Um, but they kind of sold it as an action movie, action adventure. Is so, it a movie or a series? No, it's a movie. It's a movie on Netflix. And okay. then of course, uh, what else did I want to watch? Polar. And um, I still haven't watched The Bodyguard. I heard that show is dope. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I heard it is dope. Yeah. Netflix. Net, but I'm going to tell you this. My problem, and I think we've talked about it early when we first started podcasting, is the TV overload. Mm-hmm. Something's got to give. Either I'm gaming or I'm watching a bunch of TV. And then I got into, I'm finally like deep into One Piece. Which oh, is yeah. eight hundred episodes, like eight hundred and fifty something episodes. You're, you're lost, dog. You're lost, bro. <laughs> I'm at three hundred and sixty three. You're lost. So, but now all my other anime fell off hard. Like yeah. it's just it's it's like some it's I mean it's natural. Something's gotta give, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm I'm happy I got back into streaming because of course I fell off for a while. Yeah. Um, but I'm getting back into it. But what's funny is I'm not even doing nothing extra. Like I'm not pushing it. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not hyping it up. I jump on, Just jump on, do your thing, do my thing. I try to be as consistent as possible. But consistency, it gets consistency. Yeah. But it just I, I'm trying to get my I guess get my mind and body back in the flow of it. Because yeah. it's 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 hard work. Just like even with creating content. Like I feel like the only reason I do it as fast as I do now is because I'm in a flow. I couldn't imagine if I took a month or two off of making videos. I'd probably forget where the hell all my files and images <laughs> Yeah, you, you wouldn't know where to start. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can understand that. I, I just, I literally had nothing else to watch, nothing else to do. So I started watching The Punisher and I'm not, uh, I'm, I don't regret it. Uh, it's a really good show. I think the storyline, the, when I tell you that they, they, I'm at episode 10 and literally episode 10, you're, you're just getting the one of the he's to okay so he he's the punisher obviously and he's yes. fighting two wars on two different fronts oh damn so now he's in he's in a situation where he he has to take care of one then deal with the other but the damn. other is coming in and now it's it's becoming a problem for him while he's doing all of this um he, you're just now one of the fronts, one of the wars that he's, or the battles that he's going have going on. You're just learning all about that character. It's like, you, you get pieces of his backstory, but you just now get to see him evolve into like the villain that he of the show. Gotcha. So now you're ne- and this is there's only I think thirteen episodes. I'm on episode ten, and you're just getting that now. So, mm. um. And then it, it's still action packed. It's the tur- the turning point in the 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 turning point in the in the in the movie. I believe is now at gotcha. episode ten. So it's it's really great. I recommend it. Uh, please, if you get a chance, if you have nothing else to do with your time, or you just want a good watch, yeah. check out the Punisher. My wife is watching it. She watched season one. She loved it. So she she's lo- she's watching season two. Got mad because I'm on season ten. She didn't even know they came out with season two. I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Uh, I got you. No, I you you know um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm I'm gonna watch it because I need to watch that. I need to watch Jessica Jones season two, and I still haven't watched Daredevil season three. Me neither. I haven't watched Daredevil. That was on my list next, but I literally have about thirty something episodes to watch. I, I just have to get caught up. Like once I get caught up, I'll be fine. God. So yeah, man. I'm. It, it. It's been a slow week for me this week, at least. Um, gaming wise, but with mm. TV and with uh, a little bit of reading here and there, um, it's been pretty cool. 
See, and with me, I'm so grateful I work in the audiobooks, man, because otherwise my reading or any type of intake of any reading would be completely abysmal. Yeah. Like I like I've tried to jump heavy in the comics, but once again, Br- something's bro. gotta give. Shout out Tone Death. Tone Death. Listen, after this, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna show. I'm gonna tell you about something. I would say it now, but this is the place for you. it. But uh, yeah, it's. I've been. I I st- I re. Um, I reread the uh, the Red Hood Rebirth. And oh, did you finish it? I did not finish it yet. Um, the only reason why I re I st- I had started it. I got I, and I forgot where I ended it. So I was like, you know what? It was so good. It Let really me start was. it over again. Um, the I don't know. I'm the Red Hood is he's up. He's about to get up there, man. That's oh, one yeah. of my one of my Jason DC Todd, favorites. Bro. So. He's that's actually the first comic book like video review I've ever did. Yeah. Was for was for that. And mm. I'll probably go back and do more of those. But I love what I love so much about it is how emotional. It, yeah. It's super emotional. And his specific story is emotional, yeah, because of the, everything that happened with him, uh, with him dying and all of that stuff. Uh-huh. So, I recommend if anybody, if you haven't read the story or read the comic on the Red Hood, please, please give it a listen. Because no lie, it's I, a, I, oh, go ahead. It's actually it's. I was even reading like uh, where he made appearances with other characters like uh, Dead. Um, What's his name? Uh, I was about to say Deadshot. Deadpool? <laughs> no, not Deadpool. Oh, yeah, Deadpool. That's Marvel. I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke. De- oh, got you. And um, like how he, he had like a play in in that uh, with how he first, how, and I and that that was a question I was had. That's a question I actually I want to ask Tone. I was reading, when I was reading that one, this one copy, it basically showed, um, the first time Jason Todd ever met a Bizarro, not the Bizarro that he had that followed him, that joined him in Artemis, but a Bizarro. So it was kind of, mm-hmm. you know, it was it was pretty cool, man. Um, just even going back reading those, that's what that and that was the episode, that was the book that the, the comic that I read that made me say, you know, what, let me start reading it over again. And I started yep. reading them, reading them, and um, it was pretty dope. So yeah, the, I, I want to get into some other ones. I've been looking at some like Marvel ones, some Wolverine ones, uh, some Deadpool ones. Deadpool has he's Deadpool is like the like he's like the character that's everywhere. He literally, literally everywhere. He's in so many different realms of Marvel. He's just there. He just pops up. So um, I want I want to start reading some Deadpool stuff too. And I, oh, go ahead. Um, for me, what I started reading when it came to Marvel. Was I went back and I was trying to read the complete timeline for um, for the Infinity War and all that other stuff in Civil War. Mm-hmm. And there's um, something I actually recommend to people is um, it is Mar. Oh, what is it? Uh, Civil War uh, Illuminati. Uh, it's Marvel Illuminati. And what's so dope about it is you're dealing with all the leaders of all the major good guys Mm. and they decide to come together and create a group of people who make all the major decisions on behalf of earth after the Cree, the Cree war, Mm. or I think it was after the Cree war. And basically T'Challa or black Panther is sitting there like, nah, I don't think this is a good idea. And then uh, King Neymar or Prince Neymar, who I didn't know was such a goon. Neymar, like, has no problem flexing and fighting anybody. And he outright threatened the land. He's the king of Atlantis. And he outright threatened, was like, if y'all team up against us, I'll bury the, I'll take it all underwater. And that's a, that's no threat. Um, and then Neymar swings on uh, Tony Stark. Tony Stark's a drunk. Um. Yeah. Hey, bro. It, it, it was intense. it was bound to happen with him. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Uh, but no, it gets it gets super intense. And then it shows like how everything became what it was. It you know what's funny? I and then that's something else I did this week too. I rewatched the Infinity the Infinity War. I only watched it once. I, I had to go back and rewatch it because I felt like something was missed. Especially with all of the news about Endgame coming out, all of the the everybody saying Wolverine is going to make an appearance. Um you know, all of this stuff, I had to go back and see if I missed something. And then with the announcement of uh, Spider-Man Far From Home and how that is supposed to be after the uh-huh. events of uh, of Endgame, it was kind of like, you know, did I miss something? So I went back and I, I, I rewatched it. Um, it was still the same feeling. I still felt sad when uh, Peter Parker died. Uh, or not die? Yeah, die. I'm gonna just say die because at that point, that's and then the the damn uh, the conspiracy theories behind Doctor Strange and oh, bro, I, I I I heard a conspiracy theory that was like, bro, if that's true, that's kind of epic. Like how you know they said that when you know when he was doing the probabilities of how many out of the four million and whatever they they only won one. And how the stone was going b- green when he gave it to him, how that wasn't the true time stone that he he sent the real time stone into the uh, into the future to give to Tony at some point, and it was so crazy. I was like, bro, a lot oh, of people Jesus. got. Uh, I was like, if this shit is real, and you know that brought me to a topic. I think we get we're almost done for today, um, but like having. The community work for these big studios makes it so much better. I, I say this about video games and everything. Imagine if they said, listen, you know, they take some ideas that a lot of people are coming up with and run with it. Like how Got epic you. some of this stuff would be. Like some of these games we play, some of these movies we watch, you know. Uh, look, we look. We were just, it was a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, we were just talking about our favorite or uh, a game becoming a movie or becoming mm. a show oh, and yeah, God yeah. of War got a you see what I'm saying it was like whoa man God of War into a, a movie oh yeah um Netflix is talk uh, the the God of War creator wants Netflix to do a series exactly. for God of War Imagine. like he outright said it Imagine Oh, Imagine bro, that's that. gonna be amazing. So, I and can't... I would want, I would want an older Kratos. I wouldn't want young destroying the gods Kratos. I, I would want them, if especially if they're gonna do it as a series, they have to start there. Because we know what we you know, yeah, we I know what you. the old Kratos is about. We know what the old or not or the the new crate the younger Kratos is about. And I feel like if they skip those steps before he killed his father. It would be a, a it would be a catastrophe, especially especially as a fan. That the game fight scene was dope. Imagine if you yeah. could see that in TV form. Let me tell you, when I imagine a God of War movie, I I see it shot how heavy cinematography, a lot of wide shots, and actually, even though the game was very fast paced. I see a lot of slow motion, very violent, gruesome scenes. That makes sense. Um, I see three hundred, but God of War. Yeah, that that makes more sense because it's not about like you. It's not they're you not, doing it. They're not using guns. They're not using equipment. It's literally hand to hand spears and arrows. That's mm-hmm. the era of time we are we're in. So mm-hmm. you don't want to miss anything with them with those few steps that these characters are taking and movements that these characters are doing. Other than like him fighting, you know, the gods with special powers and shit, like yeah, you know, like Zeus with bo- fucking thunderbolts and shit. Excuse my language, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, he gets to fight Zeus with thunderbolts. He can throw thunderbolts. Imagine when they when they bring it out and they show the scene where he fight when you're when you start the game off fighting Poseidon. Oh man, bro! You kill Poseidon in like the first fifteen minutes of the game. <laughs> yeah, you really do. The way they started that was ridiculous. Like, damn, you just gonna drop your uncle like that though? <laughs> man, with no hesitation, he no didn't hesitation, even pause. Dog. He dropped your uncle. 
You killed your other uncle, took his dank, took his, his, he turned your, your swords into his hooks. You got Hades' hooks. Like, what's up, man? Dang, dog. Bro, he killed everybody. Everybody. He killed uh, the Titan. The Titan and, that had Pandora's box on his back. <laughs> and then, and then it, I mean, the way he murdered his cousin, or his brother. Yeah. Oh, he, he whooped Hercules' <laughs> Man, he beat Hercules something vicious. Something destructive. Threw him into the uh, wall. He embarrassed him. So if, if he... Uh, it, it, I would hate And then for took them. his weapons. And then took his weapons. In, in front of his girl. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, if they if they skipped... If they were to skip those sections, I don't know about... I don't really know about that too much. They They would need... You know what would Dude. even be a dope way of doing it? Did you ever watch Air- the first season of Arrow? No, I did not. So the first season of Arrow basically w- ran two different stories. It ran, um, spoiler alert, uh, it ran, um, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot the Arrow's real name. Oh my god. Oh, it's going to bother me. Barry Allen is the Flash, and Oliver Oliver Queen. Uh, so it ran Oliver Queen's story from his time on the island, alongside his time in the present. Mm. And it would do it would tell the story in flashbacks. But what's so cool is the flashbacks were so in depth that if somebody took their time and went and cut all the flashbacks on their own and ran it together, it would be a whole show in itself. Just a flashback. It, it wasn't choppy, like, oh, here's a moment. No, it was like, here's 15 minutes flashback, and then it would jump to present. 15 yeah. minutes. So, I, I mean, there's a million ways they could do it, but I truly do see it shot in dramatic wide shots. Basically, I think it's Zack Snyder. I think they would need him to do it. Yeah. This should be dope. I, I just can't wait. I mean, obviously, this is the talking fa- the talking stages of it. I think if they do this, this will open up the door to other video games because I can tell you that I know there's a gang of move uh, games that got better storylines than some of the the movies. Oh that we've hell watched. yeah! So hell yeah! Imagine that that'll open up a lot of stuff. Imagine being able to oh we're gonna create a game and then get a movie deal right after the game comes out. Mm. Bro, that's what, double, hey, double no, you know what I'm super excited for um, is they got Tom Holland playing a young Nathan Drake, the guy who's Spider Man now. They, oh, okay. They're gonna have him. They're gonna have him play uh, Nathan Drake when he first come, um, meets up with Sully. Mm, okay, that see that that makes sense. That's gonna be epic. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. I I wanna I wanna play that game now. Uncharted. Uncharted was a very fun game. I just love how he would get into really jacked up situations all the time. Sounds like the Punisher. Yeah. Bruh, you sit your behind down. If you get some time, bruh, watch the Punisher season. Oh, yeah. It's pretty dope, too. So, Well, I think that's time, man. That's time, man. Look at us. Uh, Killing guys, the game, man. We are going to figure out our technology. We will not let this technology run us. It will not run us. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. And, oh, dude, shout out to Tone Deaf Network. Much love to you guys, man. Seriously, blasting us off into the ether, into the universe. Yeah, they Getting... just had a, a show. I was uh, listening to it while I, was, while I was gaming. They just had an episode of the Death Fresh show today. Yeah, it was Death Fresh, right? Not yes. Man Cave. Or was Man it Cave. was it today? It might have been a it might have been a rerun. I keep forgetting the schedule. Sorry guys, we're butchering. But um but yeah, dude, everybody make sure to go check out Tone Def Network, check out the family we're a part of. Please. Uh uh Hoshily Awkward, uh <laughs> all these different shows. It's dope, plenty of content. I mean, of course, and then we're on there. Um and we're and on it, there. Yeah, and then check out our individual pages, Baron J six seven on uh, YouTube. Uh, t- hey, well, <laughs> here we go with this crap. X T Jones on all socials. Everything's in the description below. <laughs> here we go. Hey, 
Hey, right. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to change my name, man. I'm going to change my dang name. I'm, y'all going to start calling me something else, man. Watch. <laughs> I, and I'm rambling, and I feel like I need to stop. And normally I would say I'm going to go eat a bowl of cereal, but I'm not. Man. I'm probably going to go fry up an egg real quick. Hey, how- some egg whites, bro. I just had like seven egg whites earlier today. I think that defeats the purpose of eating egg whites if you go have seven. Of them. I was hungry, man. I was. I didn't measure out anything. I just literally poured everything into the day. Oh Jesus, that was, that was life. You filled up a waiter. <laughs> Why is it up that high? Oh, Don't man. ask no questions. Oh, yeah, mind your business. So, all right, man. Hey, man. Listen, it's it's bedtime for me. I know it's bedtime, bedtime. for you. Good night. I will catch you in the morning. And uh, to the to you guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate thank it. You, you. And uh, peace out. Peace.